Chair recognizes Representative Mick Sweeney. Mr. Speaker, to the bill. We do have the greatest state uh, in the country, the greatest people, the greatest natural resources, and, and Chicago is the greatest city. But we do have the highest taxes in this country. You have to look at the income tax at 4.95 percent. You have to look at our high sales tax. You have to look at the second highest property taxes in the country. The taxpayers of this state are getting killed. And this bill, this BIMP, the budget bill that will follow continues the carnage. We are losing people. We're going to lose two congressional seats. We have lost 33,000 people. We are behind Pennsylvania in population. And yes, we need to cut the budget. Math does count. We need to do real pension reform. We need to do a constitutional amendment like Arizona that's a negotiated settlement that addresses the fact that we have a 3% annual increase in benefits. We have a $130 billion pension liability. That's using a 7% rate of return. If you use a real rate of return, we have a $200 billion problem. We are insolvent. 25% of the population in the state of Illinois is receiving Medicaid. I want to make sure that the truly needy are receiving Medicaid, but we need real reform. And you know who has some of the best ideas on that? Representative Greg Harris on how to bring federal money. But we have a governor who won't call the President of the United States. He won't even say his name. And the taxpayers of this state are paying for it. And yes, Representative Martwick, we need to redo that education formula bill. We can't afford $350 million annual increase, $7 billion a year. We need to stand for the taxpayers. And I say to Governor Rauder, you promised us, you promised us you'd cut our tax rate to 3%. This is a 4.95% uh, tax rate. This is a massive tax increase from last year that will continue. You're using all the revenues. I implore you to keep your word, Governor, to the people of the state of Illinois. Use your line item veto. Use your reduction veto. Stand up for the people. Once and for all, everybody's congratulating themselves. Think about the taxpayers of this state, the people who are getting screwed, the people who are leaving. For the love of God, vote no.